guys and welcome to the vlog. So as you can see, it is dark outside. It is currently 1037 and I was wanting to do 24 hours in, you know, day in the life with three kids. So I'm about to go to bed and I thought I would start it now. So we'll start now and then end bedtime tomorrow. So Chase and I usually go to bed anytime between 10 and 11. Um, we like to have a little bit of time after the kids have gone to bed just to be together, watch TV, do whatever. And sometimes Sutton is in bed, sometimes she's, you know, in our arms or hanging out with us until we go to bed. She's not on the best schedule. But that's another story for another day. So, yeah, so I'm about to go to bed. Tomorrow is a Monday and it's going to be a busy, crazy Monday. So I'm going to do my best to pick up the camera and vlog throughout it. But I just wanted to let you guys know what's going on. So the kids are all asleep, obviously, and... Chase is in the shower. I'm about to go get ready and go to bed. And if you see the reflection here, I thought I picked a good spot, but cleaning the house is definitely gonna be on the list for tomorrow. We just got back from out of town. Uh, my grandmother passed away last week and then we were out of town and it's just been crazy chaos since we've moved into this new house, which I need to give you guys a tour. I still have not given a tour of our new house. We're not fully moved in. Well, I mean, we're fully moved in, but we're not fully unpacked and settled, but we're almost there, so I will have to give you guys a tour of the house and another vlog, another video. So, let's get into our day. So, I will, I may let you know when Sutton wakes up to eat. I have to depend on if I'm awake enough. Um, she usually wakes up one or two times a night to nurse, so we'll see if I do that or if I just tell you in the morning, but I'll see you guys later. Okay, so it is now 8, 8.30 in the morning. We've been up. Uh, Sutton did not sleep very well last night. She's going through kind of like a growth spurt. I'm trying to um, help her gain more weight. She's not gaining enough weight. So I have been giving her bottles on top of nursing her just to get her eating more. And hopefully, you know, when she starts eating more and wants more, she will um, up my supply. So... She just, I don't know if she was like cluster feeding this morning, just, I, I don't know what it was, but from like 5 to 6.30, she was awake and nursing, and so I am exhausted, but she finally is back to sleep. McLean is up. I have to get Hudson up. I have to go this morning and put a sign up on a new listing that I have, so I'm just looking a little rough. I'm not, they're not even going to be there. We just have to dig a hole because it has to be one of the big signs, not just a regular yard sign. And my dad, who normally would do it, is injured. His side, his ribs are hurt, so he's not going to be able to do it. So I'm going to have to do the digging. So I'm just in some comfy clothes. My hair is crazy. I've got these baby hairs from, you know, after a pregnancy when you lose your hair. I lost so much hair after this pregnancy, and it's starting to grow back, but it's out of control. So if you have any tips for what to do, I mean, look at this. This is, this is ridiculous. So I try to, like, tame it down, but it looks awful. Especially when my hair's not done. So, I'm just going to wait and I have to take a shower and get ready when we get back. But I'm going to go wake up Hudson because we have to go and get that done. And then we'll be back home. So, we are loading up to the car. Baby girl is ready. You ready to go? I had to wake her up, which I hate to do, but I had to. So, we're going to go. The kids are already getting in the car. And I've got some quick breakfast in the microwave. Just a little breakfast sandwich. And we're going to go put the sign up. You ready? Yeah. Let's go. Okay, so we just got back to the house. It is 10.45. That, of course, took a lot longer than planned. Uh, there was a little miscommunication between my dad and I, and he had the wrong signpost, so then I had to go to the store, buy the right kind of signpost, and take it back to the house because we had to put up a special sign for this neighborhood. Their HOA covenants are very specific in what you can have as far as real estate signs, so I don't have as much time as I was wanting. My mother-in-law should be here in about, I told her between 12 and 1, so you know, a little over an hour, she could come at any point. So I was going to work on the upstairs, but I think for right now, I will work on the downstairs. I will show you guys, kind of give you an overview of our like kitchen, dining, living room area, and then clean it up, because it needs it. Okay, so here, I'll give you, since you haven't seen, this is our new house, this is the kitchen. And so it's all open concept, and we just got back recently from vacation, so there's just mess everywhere. Uh, this is not going to be our table and chairs. We're waiting for our new table and chairs to come. We're going to move that. But So that is the little dining room and then the kitchen area. And then this is the living room, which we just recently... Okay. 
They're really into wrestling now. Um, got this new sofa. It's trying to figure out the layout that we want, but this is our, I'll come back here and kind of give you that overview. And there's the kiddos. Okay, McLean, that's enough, please. So it's awful with the lighting because it's so bright outside, but this is our little living room kitchen area and I love it, but I just need to get it clean. Can you say hey? talking and I turn it on you go stop talking so I am pretty much done I've picked everything up I need to wipe the counters and table off but somebody decided they were done playing yeah did you decide you were done and you're bouncy yeah so I am about to change her and then try to feed her and maybe get her down for a nap it is 11 20 I've been running around and I gotta get ready too because I have to leave here soon. I'm looking rough. So I'll show you guys the finished product. Okay, so I have the table and I will explain this table. We were given this table by my in-laws, the table and chairs, and I was going to refinish them. I started with the chairs, spray painting them, and that was a complete disaster trying to spray paint the chairs. So I was gonna have to figure out some other way to do it. But then we actually sat at the table and I don't like it. This little bar down here, uh, right here, it comes down too low, you can't cross your legs, it's just not comfortable, and I just did not like it. So, they don't want it back, they live in an RV, they told us just to give it away. So, we've ordered a new table, which it came, and it was broken, so we had to reorder it. Uh, and we already have the chairs for it, which I'll show you those in just a second. So, once our um, new table comes, we will give this one to somebody who needs a table, and wants to refinish the chairs. So that is why we have this mismatched table and chairs here. So it will soon be replaced. But I cleaned off the table, cleaned off the countertops, just need to wipe them down. And yeah, and so then we picked up some, the kids picked up their toys. It's still chaos over here, but she is doing her eye patch and she just is not happy about it. So I'm letting her sit and watch her iPad while she has it on. Can you say hey? You look so pretty with your eye patch on. It's got mermaids. Can I show them the mermaids? Yeah, show them the mermaids. Oh, mermaids. I know what I want. That's so pretty. Uh-oh. It's twisted. Fix it. I didn't take it off. No, 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 no. We're not taking it off. Come back. Come back. We're all dressed. Are you all dressed and ready? Yes. You look so cute. I love this little romper. And she is about to outgrow it, which makes me so sad. I'm glad that she's growing, so that's definitely a good thing. But I'm going to be so sad that she can't wear this anymore because it's so cute. You're so cute. Yes. But this is a, I think it's a zero to three month size. Um, and so she's kind of at the borderline. Some zero to three she's outgrowing. Some are still big on her. So unfortunately, this one is getting too small. You silly girl. So I'm going to feed her and hopefully get her down for a nap so that I can get ready. Because I gotta go. Yeah, you're coming with me. Okay, so I am ready. My hair, I desperately need a haircut, so it's kind of limited in its options, but my hair, oh, my hair is done. I'm dressed. And this little stink pot right here, she didn't take a nap. Why didn't you take a nap? I tried to feed her, I tried to nurse her, and she was just too distracted. She wouldn't even nurse. No, you're just too nosy, aren't you? So I need to fix the kids' lunch, feed her, and then we are gonna head out. My mother-in-law should be here in about 15, 20 minutes. You gotta get ready. Yeah. You gonna talk to him? No. We have lunch. What are you eating for lunch today? Strawberries and blueberry and a hot pocket. Yes, and he is a big boy. He likes to cut his strawberries now. So he cut all of the tops off his strawberries. And we're, we're getting better. We're not leaving quite so much. I bet you can take a couple bites off those. Get some of the extra strawberry off. Uh-uh. No, you're not going to do it? So that is his lunch. Your lunch, it's what? What are you having for lunch today? Waffles. Waffles. You a silly goose? Yes. Chocolate milk. Waffles and chocolate milk. Do you need something to drink, bud? No? 
You're not thirsty? Your water's right here. Okay. So they have their lunch, and I'm about to have mine. And we can't forget this sweet girl. You want to eat something too? I usually try to feed her food like once or twice a day. She doesn't eat a whole um, container of food. And so it really just kind of depends on what our day looks like as to how many times she eats. But so today I have for her zucchini, apples, peas, quinoa, and basil. Mmm. Does that sound yummy? Does that sound yummy? Are you ready to eat? She's been eating for several months now, but we do still have some issues. She's going to be evaluated in about two weeks by a um, speech therapist. And that should hopefully, because she's a speech slash feeding therapist. Um, and so they're hoping that that can help with her um, tongue muscle. I don't know. I don't know how it all works, but... On top of physical and occupational therapy, she is going to be evaluated by a speech therapist. Yeah. Um, and she does, we have Babies Can't Wait. I don't know if it's called the same thing everywhere, but here in our state, in Georgia, it's called Babies Can't Wait. And so uh, babies that are born premature or if in the first couple years of life they have different delays, it's a program that um, comes alongside, they come to your house and help get you the therapies and help that you need and it's all free of charge so it's awesome if you have a preemie and they contacted us because we were in the NICU we didn't even have to our pediatrician was going to refer us but they had already contacted us because she was born so early but so if you've not been contacted and you have a child in a similar situation reach out to your pediatrician and see if there's something like that in your state or in your area uh, because it's a great asset. They come to the house. They all work together. They have all different kinds of therapists. And so they do whatever her need is at the time. And so uh, we did physical therapy. Then we switched to occupational therapy. And now we're back to kind of a mix of the two. And then they're going to evaluate her in about two weeks uh, for the speech therapy. So it's interesting all of the stuff that they can do. And Helping her to catch up on her milestones and to get back on track. And so, yeah, I will keep y'all posted. And I need to do an update on her. Um, as she's almost a year old. I can't believe it. But so I'll do a sit down video and do an update on her and give all that kind of information as well. You silly goose. It is 1.30 now and me and the munchkin back here, I don't know if you can see her in her car seat. We are headed to my office for a little bit before we go to our closing. Okay, so it is now a little after three and I'm headed to my closing. I got a little bit of work done and I just ran to the store because I need to get McLean some water shoes for tomorrow. They're going to camp starting tomorrow and she does not have any water shoes. But of course this Walmart did not have any girl water shoes. I don't know what in the world is going on that they had no girl water shoes unless I just could not find them, which also is a possibility. So I've got to find those somewhere else. But for now, we're headed to a closing. Hey guys, so sorry, my mouth is not very good. It's kind of wiggling, so hopefully it doesn't fall off. But I am leaving the closing now. It is almost six o'clock. <sighs> the closing went smooth and was quick, but then I was just catching up with my sellers. They're out of state now, and so we were just talking, catching up, and so now all the time is gone. It's been almost two hours since closing started, and I have to battle Atlanta traffic, which is horrible. If you don't know anything about Atlanta traffic, but it is really bad. And I am on the opposite side of Atlanta to where we live. So I have to go through Atlanta and then about 40 minutes past it. So it's going to take me a minute to get home, but that's okay. I love those sellers. I was glad to take a minute and chat with them and everything went smooth. And now we're done. So we're going to cook dinner, but the being that it's probably going to be 7.38 before I get home, I may stop and grab something. Uh, Chase is at home with Hudson and McLean. They're currently at the pool. I'll see if I can get him to take any footage, but if he's swimming, he probably won't be able to. Um, but yeah, so hopefully it doesn't take too long and I can get home. 
Okay, so I'm still in the car. It's now 7.30. I feel like I'm never going to get home. Got Sutton still with me. Uh, we went to Walmart. I had to feed her. And then I had to run in Walmart and get some of the stuff. The kids are going to camp. I think I talked about it. I can't remember if I did or not. But the kids are going to a camp starting tomorrow, and which I almost messed up because it's a three-day camp. And they gave us just the days, like um, June 25th, 26th, and 27th. And I didn't pay attention. I was like, okay, so it's Monday through Wednesday. Because you would think a three-day camp is going to be Monday through Wednesday, not Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Well, luckily I asked my friend whose kids are also going a question. And she was like, whoa, wait a second. I thought it started on Tuesday. So that would have been bad had I got my kids ready and taken them this morning. But I had to get some stuff for them. Uh, water shoes. We have a pair of water shoes for Hudson, but McLean does not have any water shoes. And that's what they suggest them wearing. Uh, because it's outside and they are swimming and doing all kinds of stuff outside. So that's what they suggest for shoes. So I needed to get her a better pair of water shoes. And I got a couple pair. And then I got him some too. Because I think the ones he has fit. But I don't want to like get in the morning and find out his don't fit either. So I got a couple pairs so we can see which ones fit and which ones they like. And then I'll just take back the others. And now I'm in line to get something to eat. I wanted to get something at home, but I am starving and I'm still about 20 minutes from home. So I'm just going to go ahead and get something. I'm getting Taco Bell. Super healthy, I know. And um, I fed her. I can't remember if I said that or not, but I had to stop at Walmart before I went into Walmart and took her out and fed her. And uh, I don't know if I mentioned the other times I fed her, but she has been fed <laughs> throughout the day. And I hate that I did this on a day that is so, like, crazy. Of course, in real estate, there are no, like, two days that are the same. I don't have a set schedule. I don't have anything routine. So, I don't think it's 7.30. And with it being summer, I doubt that Chase will have them um, in bed. He's probably just going to have them fed. Maybe give them a bath. We will see. But I'll catch up with you guys when we get home. Okay, so, <clears throat> update. 8 o'clock. Still in the car. I swear, this is the... The drive home that is never going to end. <clears throat> so, I'm oh, sorry. Sorry, I'm sorry well. I'm trying to hold it on the mount. Um, I am driving home and we live kind of in a more rural area and it's like back roads and it's windy. A tree fell in the middle of the road, like maybe a mile and a half, if that, from my house. So, I have to backtrack and go like 15 miles out of the way to get back because then there's a road that's closed due to construction so I feel like I'm never gonna get home finally I'm home pulling in the driveway but this has been the drive that never ends so we are winding down and about to get ready to start our nighttime routine and Hudson's room needs a little bit of work here bud Wee. you had your room all clean yesterday you cleaned everything up you and Mama will play with all your toys and leave them out? Yeah. No, I cleaned it up today. Well, it doesn't look very clean. You just threw your shoe on the floor. So this is his room. I'll show you a little bit. Got his name sign from the old room. And it's dinosaur theme. I think it turned out super cute. Do you like your room, bud? Yes, Dada. No, we're not doing drums. The drum set was not in here. That got moved in here today. But... I think his room is cute. His, bed, his comforter is flipped. It's supposed to be stripes, but... Okay. Time to get a bed. Mommy, let's can you do my room now? Yeah, let's go to your room. Okay, and now, this is McLean's room. Mommy, and it's for once actually cleaner. Gonna... Oh, are you going to tell him? Okay, you tell him. This is McLean's room, and she, and, and sometimes she makes a mess. Yeah. No, I don't. Right now it's clean though. And, and my Lego is broken here. Uh oh. And the I beds, did. of course, are not made because we're awful about making our beds. But to so her room, we have her little M sign. And yeah. then be happy, be bright, be you. Rainbow. And then some unicorn stuff. As you can tell, it's a unicorn pink girly room. Do you like your. Pink girly unicorn room? Yeah. That's what you wanted, isn't it? Mm. Okay, y'all are being silly now. <laughs> y'all are just being silly now. Okay, let's get ready for bed. No! And then last but least, sadly, is Sutton's room. 
Womp womp. It still is not put together. We have their, the, their chair. The chair and her crib. She doesn't sleep in the crib. So there's actually some clothes and other stuff in there right now. I have her little, I got this cute mobile that I, I put up just to try and entertain her if I'm up here doing stuff. And this is her temporary dresser. Because I have a dresser for her, I just have to uh, paint it. And I got to get it from my parents' house. I was hoping to do that today, but it's been storming. So hopefully I can do that this week. And then these are boxes that have, like, this one's just got, like, one or two big things in it. Um, and then some of the stuff is from McLean's. It's too small for her. That'll be Sutton's or Sutton stuff. And I need to just unpack this. Ugh. But I just have not had a chance. So she doesn't use her room. So it's kind of just become the throwaway zone. And this is one of my favorite places of the house. This is our back patio. And, which I don't know how this table got so dirty. I think they spilled bubbles on it. But we have this nice little sectional sofa out here. There, we moved these rocking chairs here because they um, were on the front porch. And we switched what we had back in the back to the front. So we're trying to figure out what to do with those. Then this little bench, which is storage for the kids' toys. My husband's grill. And then we have a TV out here. And there's a ceiling fan, so it's so nice, even in the hot. We have this nice view. There's deers that come up really close to our yard, and they'll just stand there and watch us. And the kids love watching them. Hey. <laughs> but I think we're going to end it here. Uh, the kids are having their little bit of screen time before bed, and then we're about to go up and put them down. I'm going to feed her and see if I can get her to go down. And we're going to sit outside and enjoy the nice weather yeah it's calmed down it's not windy anymore I guess that was just a little spurt that blew through she's all bundled up You're like a little burrito but do not worry uh, she's not rolling over I mean she has rolled over but she is not consistently rolling over so still being swaddled at night is not a problem see that's how I like to sleep yeah you smell that but so I think we're going to wrap it up. Thanks for watching. Spending a day with us. A crazy day with us. Yeah? What do you think? And we'll see you guys next time. Bye.